see all her three brothers lived. Well, two of the brothers lived in Columbus, and one lived in Bowbells. And Jim was a diabetic, and he'd been diabetic since he was a little kid. And he went into farming, and the other two brothers decided to go into, um, well, they started with a gas station. And then from the gas station, they expanded to a mechanic place. From the mechanic place, they expanded to John Deere, to the Ford dealership. So in Columbus, they were the people. I mean, they were the ones that had all the money. And then they got into oil. And, of course, their oil wealth came in. <laughs> I mean, they were just lucky. Mom didn't look like any of her brothers. She looked like Grandpa Dury. And I guess maybe, I'm trying to think of, her brothers must have looked like Grandma's side because they all kind of looked alike. Uh, two had dark hair and one had lighter hair. But anyway, they were just, they were just fun, fun people. My uncles were so much fun. I can't remember where we were, but Am. Am was the oldest. Oh, he was just, they all had that Irish wit. Anyway, we were at some zoo where, I don't know, but Am was there and Bill was there and the kids were, all the kids were there. We must have met someplace. And there were these parrots and Am smoked a cigar. And he was standing up there and talking to the parrot. God damn it, parrot! God damn it! And pretty soon the parrot was saying, God damn it! <laughs> and Helen was so mad at him. Because <laughs> there were all these kids around the parrot was saying, God damn it! <laughs> but they were like that. All I mean, they did stuff like that all the time. They'd come to our house, and I can remember them being in, this was in Grandma's, I mean, when we had moved to Grandma's house now. And Bill, Vicky, come on out here. I want you to try something. And I said, what? He says, I have this water, he says, that I bought. And he says, it's supposed to be really good water. He says, but I can't tell the difference. So he says, can you taste it? And I says, yeah. So he poured me some, and I pour it up, and it comes dribbling all the way. <laughs> he had those dribble glasses. <laughs> And then he'd get, he'd push me out, and he'd bring Dirk in, and he just, you know, it just went on and on and on with them. They just, there was never a dull moment with those, with those brothers. Helen, Helen was re, was Am's wife and really a nice person, but she would get so disgusted with, and drink. Oh, they drank like fish. I mean, they were both alcoholics. And they both went to Hazelton and got straightened out. But, oh, they just did the damnedest things. Those are two examples I remember. But whenever you were around them, they'd get talking about what they used to do in the old times. They had such a way of telling that they'd have all of us kids laughing. And they would come down more often than what we would go up there. I'm trying to think the last time. I must have been in college probably the last time they were down. Uh, and that was Am, the... They had driven down in one of these big travel Winnebago's, you know. And that's <clears throat> when they had Terry, mentally challenged child, when later in life. And Anne did not take that well. Uh, the fact is, he wouldn't have anything to do with the baby. But as time went on, uh, the whole town of North Dakota knew Terry because Columbus is, I mean, Columbus was just such a small town. Uh, Terry, when he got older, would go uptown and buy Kotex and bring it home. <laughs> and they'd take it back up to the grocery store. <laughs> they just put it on the bill. 